So, you know what damages you have done, and now you're wondering about various things. You're worrying about Hollywood and the truthy particles of your business beginning to ferment, becoming knowledge to the common tongue and all of that stuff you didn't want. And yeah, I just have to th rethink, rethink 2010 and um, reread your pharmacist's code of ethics. Uh, you really, you really just need to give, be silent. Give me the best, the best of your drugs. Go fucking home and and rethink yourself, Breton. See now you now you'll be wishing I stuck to the fat jokes. Give me the best of your drugs. Go home and, and reread your, the principles that you were re required act to academically hold to heart before your inauguration into the uh, what, pharmacy coalition. Fuck it. The best of your drugs to me. Go home and rethink yourself. That is all. That is not all. Uh, yeah. It is a shame too because going to work at O'Connor, you know, Capital Chemist managers and I had this dance of um, a lot of insults and then maybe growing sensitive to seeing through pejoratives and sensing that I was respected on some level behind the the insults and so that was the... <coughs> That was the initial sense of uh, going to work for Mrs. Braddon at O'Connor. I've made some uh, disses, uh, superficial disses, so I'll go a bit beyond the surface and say, well, you know, uh, I think I think you, I think that Mrs. Braddon, saw good at O'Connor has. Um, I think about it going, well, I should do this and support this sort of in initiative for, for, uh, so I can support my children and the, the same um, receding statements that someone makes in justification of an ethically questionable avenue of science. <clears throat> so I'd wonder, it's something like jealousy, how uh, Mrs. Braddon managed to uh, say to her spirit that you know the uh, there's there's salbutamol particles hidden in the smegma of Gary Cans and Roger Tall. Um, smegma is is penis cheese, like dick cheese. Um, yeah, if you don't, as I said, you you don't shower for a long time, you can grow dick cheese. I think the way Elizabeth Braden's uh, composure and the way she operates professionally. She's trying to climb that ladder to get closer to and more involved in what Gary Cairns and Roger are involved in, but it's a religiously motivated crime against humanity and uh, that's the interesting thing because I could, my sense of her was that um, she was kind of going, well, you know, we were, we were only testing you when we insulted you and now you've been with the company for nearly a decade and you know how things you know it's been done and what we're into and when really a lot of open discussion was was probably um more uh, uh would have been more relevant in the time that i worked for capital chemist um i mean it's quite a significant mistake if they if they had reasoned that um, because they surveyed me singing uh, to aggressive songs while alone in a house in Downer, uh, and, and they all thought, and then I learned that they thought all along that um, I was present in the house of my parents' attack and watched it, and so the only the questions on their mind, which fueled all these insults, and so I, I suddenly got this oh. 
looking back now, I understand. <laughs> I understand why you were so insulting. It wasn't that genetic argument. It was that you but you all thought I watched it and and was in the house. I wasn't even I wasn't even in the state and territory. But so they move against me at Downer. They are thinking things like, well, if he's singing to aggressive, along with aggressive rock songs, um, he must have enjoyed his mother's attack. And, I, and so I go, well, isn't this silly? Because if you had, uh, instead of insulting me, if you had asked me, was I actually there? You know, and then, uh, so these are the mistakes that inbreeders make in, in logic. Uh, you know, the one saying incest was necessary for the survival of of, of the species. Uh, incest, incest, incest. You know, and the, and the fucking mistakes they make. So now the newspaper article on the attack uh, between my parents. Uh, you won't find it. A frenzied attack on wife alleged was the headline. And Roger Tolls tried to use his influence to have it pulled from the web because it otherwise uh, makes him look very silly for thinking it, would, it was, was, would be wise to move against me just for singing along to corn songs um, while alone in, in a house in Downer. 